Captured Russian soldiers are sending tearful messages to their families back home as the grim reality of war is sinking in for the Russian people. <laughs> The nation was left reeling today with Moscow's official announcement that 498 soldiers have been killed in the invasion of Ukraine. The real death toll is believed to be much higher. In a bizarre appearance today, dictator Vladimir Putin went on Russian TV. The thrust of this speech was all about trying to keep Russians on track with him and with his war. At one point, he actually got up, then sat down again when he thought of something else to say. Fox News' Sean Hannity appeared to call for Putin's assassination. New rule. You invade a sovereign country. You kill innocent men, women and children. You forfeit your right to run a country and you forfeit your right to live. This Russian POW recorded a message directly to his mother to reassure her he was still alive. I want to say to my mom, wait for me, I will return. Published reports say the Ukrainian Defense Ministry has even invited Russian mothers to the capital of Kyiv to pick up their captured sons and bring them home. The chant, no to war, is resounding throughout Russia. In St. Petersburg, this brave old lady stood up to a goon squad of armored police during an anti-war protest. She is said to be a childhood survivor of the Nazi siege of Leningrad during World War II. 7,360 Russian protesters have been detained. Russian troop morale is said to be in a state of crisis in Ukraine. And how's this for a swan song? A mass walkout at Russia's last independent TV news station after learning the government was blocking their broadcast. The swan song music, Swan Lake. Mm -hmm.